This right here is an SG series medical pole station and it's right now wired in to a vantage 32 tone combi sounder beacon and this Tectone quarter light that makes a really cool glow when it turns on. We're going to pull this thing today and start off the test on this alarm demonstration board. Check this out. And while we have the light off and it looks really cool, we'll activate that part of the system one more time with this Tectone pull cord switch. Here we go. Look at those beautiful mountains out there. It is a very nice summer day over here. Anyway, I think that is enough testing of the medical portion for System Test 31. I think it's finally time to test some fire alarms, but first let me show you what we have. This right here, this red box thing, this right here is an ADT Unimode 10UD 10 zone fire alarm control panel. This is what controls all of the alarms. For alarms, we have a system sensor MA12 slash 24D. It is a sounder only. And I think these models create one of the cleanest sounding sounds that you can hear out of a fire alarm. It's a very nice sound that they put out. And you'll get to hear it later in the video. It is set on temporal three. These two devices you got to already see earlier. And then this right here is a system sensor Spectral Alert Advance CHSW Chime Strobe. That's right, it's that new chime that I unboxed. And I have it set on its whoop tone, and we will change it to a different tone later on the, in the test. It's a pretty interesting tone to hear out of a Spectral Alert Advance, so I figured we'd start off with that tone, and then we can change it to something else later on. For pull stations, I kept the Simplex 499-9006. We'll key activate this today because I already pulled it in the last system test. And then I got a new pull station in this test. It is a Simplex 4251-11. It's a Chevron style Simplex pull station. All right, who's ready to hear some alarms? We got some pretty interesting sounds in the system test. So let's go ahead and pull it in three, two, one. I did mention this in an earlier system test, but in case you missed it, these red lights are also programmed through a relay to turn on when the fire alarm activates. Anyway, let's go ahead and change out the tone on this system sensor chime strobe. We'll do that by unscrewing the screw from the base here and taking the alarm off. In a normal building, this would put the system into trouble, so please do not ever tamper with fire alarms. Anyways, yes, there is some live electricity going through these wires right now, so it's very important not to touch the terminals or we could risk frying the fire alarm control panel. Looks like my panel just went into trouble because I took that alarm off. Let's go ahead and see. Yep, NAC4 fault. 
So that happens when you tamper with fire alarms. Don't do it. All right, the wheel is right now set on setting number eight, which is whoop low volume. And I'm thinking we will change it to four beats a second low volume, which is setting number four. So we just have to insert a screwdriver and change the number to four. There we go. And for, for safety, we'll screw the alarm back in. There we are. And that trouble should go away. If not, it'll go away when I reset the panel. All right, let's key activate this Simplex 499-9006. This is an addressable pull station, but it is currently being used for conventional means right now. And key activating the pull station simply means we're gonna open it up and the button will trigger activating the alarm. Here we go. Let's go ahead and reset the Simplex 4251-11. You do that with the hex key. You have to unlock it at the top. There we go. And I'll go ahead and show you the inside. It's just a button. And then right there, it's kind of hard to see, but it is imprinted onto the metal. It says, or it shows the model, which is 4251-11. There it is. It's kind of hard to see though. All right, now let's Lock the pull station back up. There we go. Pull station's reset. Everything should be good to go to reset the main fire alarm control panel. There it is. All right, I think that is plenty of testing for system test 31 with this ADT Unimode 10UD Fire Alarm Demonstration Board. Thank you all for watching. Rate, comment, and subscribe. And please have a great day.